Find the mirror image of a point reflected on the plane. The question is, point P, 1 minus 1, 0, is reflected in the plane x plus y minus c equals to 6 and has p dash as its image. Determine the coordinates of point p dash. So think like this, that this is our plane, right? And then we have a point on the left side of the plane. It gets reflected equally distance away. So that is the point which gets reflected. So that means we are talking about a point p here and that is the reflection p dash. Point P is given to us as 1 minus 1, 0. And its reflection is something which we have to find. Let it be x, y, and z. So that is the question. And this is the plane defined by x plus y minus z equals to 6. Now how will you do this question? Now, since we know the plane, we know it's normal. So the plane given to us is... Let me write it down here. The plane is, let's call it pi 1, is the plane given to us as x plus y minus z equals to 6, right? So let me write this like this. The plane is this. So that is my plane pi 1. Now here, if the plane is given to us, then we also know it's normal. So normal to the plane is basically 1, 1, and minus 1. The coefficients of these since this equation is in the scalar form. Now normal is, is a point which is perpendicular to the plane. Now when we are trying to find mirror image, we know if we join the point with its mirror image, that should be at 90 degrees to the plane. Correct? 90 degrees means it should be along the normal to the plane. Right? So that also means that we have a point and now we know what is the direction from P to P dash? Or we can find the equation of line P, P dash. Correct? So let's find the equation of line P, P dash. It is along the normal of the plane. Correct? So let's do that part. So we say let this line be P, P dash. So the line equation should be equals to, we know the point, which is 1 minus 1, 0, plus T times this vector. The normal to the plane is along this line, 1, 1, and minus 1, correct? So that is the line. Now if this is the point, if this is the line, which is normal to the plane, it has to intersect somewhere. What should be that point? So let that point be M. How can we find this point? It means we need to find intersection of line and the plane. So for doing that, we can substitute general point on this line on the plane. So a point which is general on this line will be x value is 1 plus t. So that's the parametric form. And we translate it and we write x equals to 1 plus t, y equals to minus 1 plus t. So we are transferring our equation from vector form to parametric form, right? So we write each coordinate point in terms of the parameter t and z will be equals to 0 minus t correct so we get minus t here so these are general points so if x y z is a point here right i'll call those as x1 y1 z1 okay now x y z is any general point on the line p p dash and if we are trying to find intersection then that point should be on the plane right so let's equate so let's write down and find out what is the value of t. So let me just do that in here. So what we are trying to do now is we'll substitute these points there. So instead of x, I'll write 1 plus t. So I got 1 plus t. This is for x, right? Plus y value is minus 1 plus t. Minus z value is minus t that should equal to 6. So if this line crosses the plane, then their intersection should be found by that particular value of the parameter t. Is that okay? Now, let's add these numbers. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, so that's, that goes. And we have, well, the y value was, let's see. Yeah, that's okay. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 
and here we have 1, 2 and minus and minus becomes plus. So we have 3t equals to 6 or t equals to 2. Now if t equals to 2, we can find the point here, right? So the point should be 1 plus 2, correct, which is 3. And in this case, minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. Here it is minus of 2. So the point is minus 2. Is it okay? So we get the point M, correct? So let me write down what we got. The middle point M for us is therefore the intersection of this. So that is M is equal to 3, 1, minus 2, right? So 3 is the x value, 1 and minus 2. So that is the coordinates of M. Now since we know coordinates of M, we know coordinates of P, it is easy to find P dash since M is the midpoint, correct? How will you find that? So we know P is 1, minus 1, 0. M is 3, 1, minus 2. So P dash is x1, y1, z1. Then average of P and P dash should be M, right? So we say 1 plus x, say 1 plus x divided by 2 gives me the x coordinate of M, right, which is 3. Similarly, we can write minus 1 plus y divided by 2 is equals to y coordinate of M, which is 1. And minus uh, and 0 plus z divided by 2 is equals to minus 2. Correct? Solving this, what do we get? We get x is equals to 2 times 3, 6 minus 1. We get 5. y is equals to 1 times 2, 2 plus 1, 3. And z is equals to minus 2 times 2, which is 4. Do you see that? And therefore, we know these, let me call them x1, y1, z1. Otherwise, there may be a confusion. So these are the mirror image points. x1, y1, z1 are the coordinate points of P dash. And therefore, we get our answer. And the answer can be written here as the mirror image P dash is 5, 3, and minus 4. Do you see that? So that is how we can solve these questions. Now let's have a look at it. When we are trying to find point which is reflected in the plane, in that case, line joining the point and its reflection should be perpendicular to the plane. Or you can say it is along the normal of the plane. Since we know a point and the direction of PP dash, we can find equation of line joining points P and P dash. And once we get that equation, using plane equation and the line equation, we can find point of intersection. And that point of intersection should be the middle point, right? As you know, image is as far behind the mirror as it is in front of the mirror. So those two distances are exactly same. Now once you find M, you can always find P dash as shown here. I hope that helps you to understand how to solve such questions. We have similar videos where we are trying to find mirror image of a point in a line also. Okay, So look into those videos also. Thank you and all the best.